It's prime time. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Voyager Class Optimus Prime. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, of course, we have Prime Mid, Mid Decapitation, still a bit disturbing. Dyak and Optimus Prime, Transformers. On the side here, a Decepticon symbol. Oh. Okay, on the top of the box, Decepticon symbol, okay, on the bottom, just copyright stuff and things. On this side of the box, we have the same image there of Optimus Prime, and on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, it does this, that, and the other, and you have your brief bio if you want to read it in multiple languages, hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging, and of course, also included is the collector's card with that same piece of artwork, which actually looks way better than the toy itself. And on the back you have the tech specs for both Optimus Prime and Dyak, hooray for carts. So moving right along, here we have Optimus Prime, who is now Octane. Yes, this is obviously meant to be Octane, but they released it first as Optimus Prime. They, uh, they Sentinel Prime this again. You guys, Hasbro, you guys. You guys! You guys! Oh, Hasbro, you clever little you guys! Anyway, so here is Optimus Prime in his uh, jet mode. And I use that term loosely. Um, this is supposed to be a jet. I mean, it, it has a nose cone, it has wings, has tail fins. I guess that constitutes a jet. But no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I I can't get behind this jet mode at all. I just, no, this just does not work for me at all. But anyway, <laughs> let's get in close here so we can see the details. Um, these are stickers, the windshields. Uh, these are all stickers, which this one likes to peel up on me. It's staying down for now, but it usually likes to peel up. But yeah, these are stickers going around the cockpit section there. Got some nice silver paint. Um, got some nice metallic blue paint. On the nose cone section as well, which looks very nice. You got the red, you do have like molded intakes there. You got a lot of nice silver paints, which unfortunately does not go all the way down. You can see it stops right here, and then you just have the gray. Um, so apparently, the uh, the silver paint budget ran out right there. That, that's 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 where they ran out of money. Uh, <laughs> uh, this detailing right here is stickers with the Autobot symbol and the striping. That's all stickers. Right there, and taking a look at the wings, just done in the unpainted gray, and you have some red painted in there. Uh, you got some transclearance yellow, that is where your Titan Master will sit. All right, just got blue, you got some Titan Master pegs right there, you also have two right there. And of course you have the truck mode <coughs> cab just kind of hanging out there as well. You got the tail fin, with some molded detail. And the back, you have some like, you know, little thrusters or whatever, molded back there. The underside, um, he has a lot of wheels under here, so he can roll. It does that successfully in jet mode, I can say that much. You know, it can roll, it's a nice rolling jet, so <laughs> there you go. So yeah, there's the jet mode, the jet mode. <laughs> so there you go. So for comparison, here he is with Megatron in his jet mode, which is way more successful than Optimus Prime's jet mode. You can kind of see how they look together. Right there. And there you go. Now, of course, he does include weaponry. He does have his gun right here, which is cast in black plastic. Double-barreled blaster there, of course, with the giant gap in there to facilitate the Titan Master gimmick. And you got pegs on the sides, pegs on the bottom. That's some molded detail. And there you go. And you also get a sword, which is done in a transclearance, like Mountain Dew colored plastic. 
It just looks like Mountain Dew. I've heard so many pee jokes about this, but honestly, it just it looks like Mountain Dew. Which, then again, maybe Mountain Dew just looks like pee. I don't know. Anyway. I love Mountain Dew. It's delicious. But anyway. You can see a lot of nice molded detail in the sword itself. I mean, if it bothers you that much, I mean, just get some silver paint and just paint it. I mean, you yeah, know, it would be easy enough to do. I, I, I might do it, actually. But uh, there you have the sword. And, of course, you have the Titan Master, the Headmaster. Here we have Dayak, and he's meant to be a little Diaclone dude. And see here the head sculpt. The head sculpt is actually really nice. It's a very nice head sculpt. They even painted his eyes. His eyes are painted blue. And, um, actually, it's a very, very nice head sculpt. Um, he does have some molded detail on his body, unfortunately. None of that is picked out in paint. He has blue leg warmers on. Actually done a nice uh, metallic blue paint. So yeah, he's got some leg warmers, silver head, belly button screw, and the upside down face on his back. Hi there! How are you doing? And there you go. From articulation wise, as usual, the head is on the ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly. The shoulders are on the ball joint. They just come out that far. He can bring his arms all the way up. Yes! He can do that. Uh, the hips are on a hinge. I go forward that much. Only go back a little bit. And of course, the knees on a hinge. That swing both ways. Oh, there you have the articulation. And for comparison, here he is with a fans project headmaster. And here he is with a G1 headmaster. Master. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Master. Anyway, <laughs> so there you go. So as usual, you have uh, quite a few options for how you want to store everything. Now, as far as the weapons go, um, you can take Dayak, get him into a seating position here, and sit him in the gun, so they can man that. And then you can take the sword, and you can either plug it in this post right there and have that going on, or you can plug it up here and have that going on, totally up to you. And, of course, you can use the numerous posts to plug it onto your bases, plug it onto Fort Max, whatever you want to do, plug it onto other vehicles, whatever. And you do have ports on either side of the jet. You can just take that, plug that there if you want. And have that going on. Or we can just take Dayak and open up this section right here. And just plop him down in there. There you go. And he can ride in the jets. <laughs> and then you can take the sword. Uh, you can take the gun here. You can plug that on this side if you want. Take the sword. Plug that on this side if you want. And that looks pretty ridiculous, but it's a thing you can do. Another thing you can do is you can take the gun. I like to put it in this configuration here. You can see you have these two bits right here, which are kind of, they're kind of like clips. And you have these two tabs that are right up here. And you just take this and you line that up. And you just pop that on. And it doesn't stay securely on mine. It likes to pop off but yeah it likes to pop itself off but it is meant to stay there it's meant to of course now that the camera's on it won't want to do it yeah <laughs> of course because the camera's on because the camera's on right 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 you can see how it just wants to pop itself off but this is what the instructions tell you to do it doesn't really work that well it's temperamental there you go yay it worked there you go you can have that going on if you want. <laughs> As you've seen, not a dead solid connection. It just pops right off. But, you know, the instructions say you can do that as well if you want to. As always, your toy is played however you wish. So, there you go. So, let's just get down to transformation, shall we? Let's all remove Dayak for now. Even though we are just going to plop him right back in there when we get to truck mode. But still, we'll plop him out. And now we will get started. So we will start from the back and work our way to the front because the back will become the front. So the front will become the back. So we're going back to front or actually front to back. Let's just get started. Let's just let's just do that. So you want to take this panel right here and bring that down. You want to take these fin sections, bring them up. You want to take this whole tail fin section right here and just pull it up until it clicks. So you saw a slider there. It does slide at an angle, so you have to kind of pull it up and out. And once you do that, just fold that down like that. And then at this point, you've got to bring the wings up just to get them out of the way. And then you take the halves here of the cab, and you bring them around 
like that. And they will meet in the middle. Make sure things don't come untabbed. There we go. And just tab that all together. Like that. Make sure that stays tucked up under there. And it's a truck now! No, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. So there you have that. So now we come back here and we split this whole assembly. You want to undo these panels too. That'll just give you a little bit more room to operate. Just bring those out. You see it's on a double hinge there. Just bring that out. Take the nose cone section here, rotate it, flip it in, rotate, flip it in, take this section here with the wheels, and just rotate that around, like that, rotate around, like that, and then you take the wings, and you just bring this down, rotate it at this hinge, and just bring it up at this hinge, and then bring the whole thing down like that. So that's how you want that oriented, right there. So then you just bring that down, rotate, bring it up, bring it down. And there you go. These wings were very confusing at first, but once you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. Which is how it should be when you think about it, of course. <laughs> once you know what you're doing, you have no idea what you're doing, right? Right? Isn't that how it works? I don't know. I'm old. I'm confused. Anyway. So you have these little slots right here in the wings. You got these little tabs right there. So those tabs will just go into those slots right there in the wing. Like that. And then you just line up the other side. Tab that in. One thing that I do not understand is the wings... You can see there are these tabs right here on the wings, and they're in the exact same spot. So it's not a case of they interlock, they're literally in each other's way, and keeps you from tabbing everything together. And these tabs, unless I'm doing something wrong, these tabs serve no purpose whatsoever. I don't know why those tabs are there. Again, unless I'm just doing something wrong, I don't know, I'm just going by the instructions, but I don't know what these tabs are for, and they just get in the way, and you end up just kind of having to, like, offset everything a little bit, just so you can get everything to line up the way you want it. But yeah, it's weird, and things came untabbed on me there. There you go. So you just kind of have to, like, offset things a bit, and that's, I don't know, that's weird and a little frustrating. So that's something I do not understand about this toy. But... There we go. So you just kind of want to offset everything a little bit like that because it's the only way to get it to work as far as I know. Like I said, unless I'm just doing something wrong. But once you do that, tab all that together and then bring these panels back in. You have this little tab right here that's just going to go into this little notch right there. So make sure that it lines up right there. And just make sure that this little tab goes into that notch right there. So just make sure all that lines up. And just bring that in like that. Tie that together, and this came undone because things decided to actually align themselves properly. <laughs> there you go. And that should all stay together like that. Give everything a good squeeze. And there you have the truck mode. And the truck mode I like way better than the jet mode. This This works. This works. It looks like a truck. It's a truck. It works. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, one successful mode there. So there is the truck mode. You do have some silver paint on the front grille. You got some blue paint there for the front windshield. And that's pretty much all the paint on the cab section. Nothing on the sides there. Would have been nice. There is some older detail there, but unfortunately... None of us picked that in paint. Um, not even the smokestacks there. It's just that the hinge part is gray, but the rest of it is just uh, the red plastic. But there you go. Again, you have that sticker detailing going all the way down the sides there. We have wheels now. And there you go. And of course, it can roll as rolling things should. And we can take Dayak. And we can pop him in there. Face him the right side now. Close that up. And of course, you can take the guns, just plug them where you want, plug that in there, take the sword, and plug that onto the side, like that. Again, you have your Titan Master pegs for them along the top there, so you can plug some Titan Masters on there if you want. Um, the little clip point does not work 
in uh, in truck mode if you want the guns facing forward because the handle gets in the way so it definitely doesn't work there you can plug it in like that but it'll be facing backwards but again totally up to you your toy display it however you want so. there you go there you have the truck mode and for comparison here he is with Megatron in his tank mode so you can see how they look together like that um, here he is with Voyager Combiner Wars Prime so you can see how that works and here he is with Leader Optimus so you can see how they look together so there you go there you have that. So yeah, there is the truck mode. Like I said, definitely the more successful of the two alt modes. So there you go. So let's get down to robot mode. So just remove the weapons. Put those off to the side. Or we'll remove Dayak because we are going to need him. Yeah, yeah. Get out. Get out. Get out now. Do it. Anyway. So now we're just going to start from the back and work our way up. So we're just going to untab these side sections here, bring them out, untab, and bring that out. And then you split the legs. And then you take this section right here, you just swing it out, and that will give you the clearance to bring the foot out. And then you just bring that back down. And there you have a leg all done. Bring it out. Put about the foot. Bring that in, and then you just take these panels here, and you just bring them down, bring it down, and there you got the legs all done. So now we will move to the upper body. There we go. So take this panel right here, and just bring that down to make the chest, and then split the arms, and bring them down, like that. And you can see this section here just tabs into a little slot right there. So just untab that, untab that, and then rotate the bicep swivel and flip out the hand. Uh, you can leave the shoulders as is. If you want a cleaner look, you can leave the shoulders like this. But what the instructions tell you to do is to take this section here and bring this up and rotate it around like that. So you can get that G2 Laser Prime look if you want to. But like I said, you can totally leave the shoulders like that if you want to. Totally up to you. Again, your toy. Display it however you wish. So we'll take that around. Flip out the hand. Bring up. A little shoulder pauldron there. Bring that up. And there you go. Uh, one more thing you want to do with the hips. You can see the hips are on a slider here. You want to take the hips and bring them all the way forward like that. So you hear that nice satisfying click. There you go. So now we will we'll work on the wings now. That's what I was trying to say. So you just take the wing, you bring it up, bring it out, and then flip all this up like that. And then you just flip that in. So bring that up, bring that out, flip that up, fold that at that hinge, and there you go. Then you take the tail fin section here, you just bring that up. You bring these tail fins out like that, and if it hasn't done so already, you just split the center fin right there, bring that out, and this just sits flush against the back like that. And once you've done that, you're basically done. Of course, he is now missing his head. So now we just bring in Dayak, and you just fold them in half, as you do with Headmasters. There you go, and you plug him in, Boop. and they have Optimus Prime in his robot mode, and it's aight, <laughs> it's aight, it's the best I can say about it, it's, it's okay, um, not my favorite, not my favorite, it's, it's okay, um, I honestly don't know if I like this mold more as, uh, as Octane, I don't know. I'm not too crazy about this mold. It's just, it's it's just okay. But let's get in close here on that Prime Noggin. There's the Noggin. Very Optimus Prime head sculpt. Nice blue eyes there. You got some silver paint for the crest. Silver plate on the mouth plates. So it does look good. You got some gold paint right there in the chest. The blue windshield. You got some silver paint there on the sides. Not on this grill, but silver paint on the sides. And some silver paint there. 
And then going down the body, you get some more of that gold paint there on the kneecaps. You get that lighter blue right here on the shins. There you go. Give you a look around there. You can see it's kind of a wingy backpack going on there. There you go. Um, he does have the extra gimmick of you push the grill and whoop, you get the little little extra horns that pop up on the side and just kind of widen his head out. Um, not crazy about that. I don't know. I just think I just don't think it looks that good. Um, I think it would it would have looked better if maybe the arms of the Titan Master were painted blue. If this was all blue, I think it would look better. But you just have blue, gray, and then blue, and it just kind of throws things off there. You know, it's just I don't know. not crazy about that. Um, articulation wise, it does have that same gimmick like uh, like Alpha Trion. And like Sentinel Prime and Astro Train with this whole assembly here will rotate from side to side. That will only allow you but so much rotation, only that much rotation from side to side. Of course, if you leave these down, you have full 360 degree movements for the head. And of course, you have a little bit of wiggly waggly movement. You can't really look up, you're going to look down very slightly. Um, arms can do a 360, but everything kind of gets in the way. You have to move a lot of stuff out of the way if you want his arms to move more. You have to move the wings out of the way, and you have to like rotate these out of the way. And now his arms can do a full 360, so... <laughs> the, uh, these pieces are not very forgiving when it comes to articulation. Uh, the arms can go in and out. You do have a bicep swivel. You have under... 90 degrees off bend out to the elbow, nothing at the wrist, you just have that transformation joint. If that serves any purpose for you, it's there. Uh, nothing at the waist, the legs can go forward, that far, can go back that far. I pushed the button by accident, <laughs> can go back that far. Outward, he can do the full splits. Thigh swivel, 90 degrees off bend out to the knee, and he can move his toes up and down that much. So there you go. Me personally, I, I don't like these little horn things. I, I always leave them down. I just think it looks better that way, but that's just me. So there you go. And of course he can hold his weapons. Give him his gun, his big gappy gun. You can give him his Mountain Dew slash pea sword, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a Mountain Dew sword because that's just less vulgar. So there you go. So he can hold his weapons. And yeah, so there you go. So full comparison! Here he is with Combiner Wars, Voyager Prime, and you can see he only comes up to the shoulder there of Combiner Wars Prime. So it's definitely a uh, a smaller Voyager. There you go. Um, here he is with the Generations Laser Prime, since this is what it's supposed to be homaging here with the little shoulder bits and whatnot so there you have that uh here he is with leader prime you can see how they look together so there you go and here he is with voyager megatron and you can see he is also quite a bit shorter than megatron so yeah there you go but you know what we're going to do here? We're going to have a little fun here. We're going to do some uh, some head swapping. He doesn't hold that sword all that securely. It is There's there's a little bit of friction there, but it is still kind of loose. But anyway, let's do some head swapping. Um, in case anybody was wondering how, uh, how Galvatron's Titan Master looks on Megatron. Just pop that off. Pop that on. And you can see how that looks. So there you go. In case anybody was wondering, there it is with Galvatron's Titan Master. So you can have that look going on if you want to. You have options. Yay, options. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll pop off Prime's head here and we'll put the uh, Power Master Prime head on it. Want to get more of an Orion Pax vibe going on there? Hey, you can do that. Why not? I don't know if the, well, the horns. Uh, 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 that actually kind of works with that head. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of works. Eh, 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 eh. Kind of works. <laughs> so you can have that going on if you want. Just plug that back on. Come on. It's very tight on mine. Which makes me weep for that silver paint on the uh, Titan Master. 
because that's going to get scratched off because that's really tight. And uh, let's see, why don't we try, actually, uh, let me let me rip your head off again, Prime, sorry about that. Hey, what are you doing? We'll try this head on the uh, Power Master Prime head. Let's see how that works. Eh, this might not work. It probably won't work, but we'll give it a shot here. Is that in? No, there we go. Let's see how that works. Will that even fit? There we go. Oh, there it is. Can't really even see it in there. You can kind of see the eyes in there. I don't know how well. Let's see if we can get some light in there. Eh, you can barely see the eyes in there. You can see them, but yeah, they're just, just barely there. Yeah. Eh. I mean, it works. Hi! Sorry, dude. Sorry. Didn't mean to knock you over. Yeah, it... it Kind of, kind of, sort of works, but, you know, this head just works better. <laughs> he has the right eyes for it. So, there you go. So, there you have Voyager Prime. Let's put your noggin back on. There you go. Get back down here to your level. So, yeah, um... Not crazy about this figure. The jet mode, I really don't like. The jet mode, just no. The jet mode, just no. Um, the truck mode works. The truck mode, I'm cool with. The truck mode totally works for me. The robot mode is okay. It's all right. Not my favorite Optimus Prime. Um, you know, just not my favorite mold overall. Like I said, I'm not even sure if I'll like this more when it's when it's Octane. But you know, it, it just gets a from me overall so <laughs> there you go so if you would like an optimus prime or any other titans return figures you can always check out bigbadtoystore.com for availability there will be a link in the description down below so check that out you can also check out my titans return playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below so check that out as well and I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Transformers Titans Return Voyager Class Optimus Prime, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! <laughs> Ah, oh, Prime, I see you got a new alt mode. Yeah, yeah, I can fly now. I always wished I could fly. I always believed I can fly. And now I can. I can fly like a bird. Oh, no, he's not gonna. I believe I can soar. Yeah, he's singing. See pizza bagels through that open door. Oh, Primus, he's gonna do that all day.